Hi, this is a video for Bergasms. This is my 1.7.10 world that I'm having to play in 1.7.9 because the uh, internet's really funky these days. I'm going to have to get the phone company out here. Bergasms was asking if there was a way to mine in such a way that a person could um, uh, keep the mobs away from them. And I learned this trick from uh, Vex. I'm doing this in abandoned mine, obviously, because I want to show you that I strip out everything. Everything. Even these hanging blocks. Always dig out the hanging blocks. Because I've often found emeralds, lapis, gold, and even diamonds up above them. So, uh, yeah. And a lot of times these ores, I call them... What do I call them? I call them... I'll think of it in a minute. But if you dig these ores out, just uh, depending on what level you're at, I think I'm a little too high right now, but these ores will be hiding or masking goodies. So I usually go through with pick first. I light everything up first. First, light everything up and block off what I'm not going to uh, work in. So I light everything up to keep the mob spawn down, and then I work my way all the way back from the dead end all the way back to the front. And it gives me time without anything spawning. And in this particular case, I'm lucky because I've already got a honey pot. Again, I learned this from Vex. He used it in his super hostile maps. What he would do is like in Inferno Mines, there are huge caverns that are not very well lit. And yet the mob spawn is really low. And the reason why is Behind the caverns in which the player is working, there are other caverns that are completely dark where he's letting the mobs spawn freely so that the player won't be too overwhelmed. He'll overwhelm them later at his own pace and with his own stuff, obviously. So he's created these huge, beautiful, dark, poorly lit caverns that have very little natural spawn in them because out behind the wall in the dark are uh, closed in places that the player can't see where the mobs are spawning. And they're just far enough away that apparently they don't make any noise and so on, but they keep the spawn rates down inside the caverns where the player is. So from that, that's one reason I got brave and started working a lot in abandoned mines, which I love now, because it's free wood, it's free fences, um, uh, it's free materials, you know, it's just awesome. The only thing is it's easy to run out of cobblestone when you're working in a place like this. So always make sure you have at least a stack. So, because you're going to have to block it off when you're done. Uh, sorry about the frame rate. It's about the internet and trying to run Bandicam at the same time. Uh, we've had a lot of storms because of the monsoon season. And because it's rural internet, anytime somebody sneezes, it goes funky. So yeah, I've got to get on their behinds and say, yo, I'm paying almost $50 a month, which is darn near close to a tenth of my income to be online. So, but you get the basic gist of the thing. Then I made a bad mistake. I came in here with an iron sword. I always try to have another sword, a stone sword, just for the spider webs. Now here, the gravel. People, oh, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Now, I'm not going to do this just for demonstration purposes, but when I went through the gravel, always look through gravel. Always look through gravel. I'm not kidding. Almost always it's hiding something. Either in this case, a whole bunch more of the abandoned mine shaft that I won't be able to access, it looks like, from any other direction except here. So, uh, after I finish this video, I've got to go back in there and open that up so I can get to that mine shaft. Or it can lead to dungeons. Or it can lead to lava lakes where there really is diamond. Always dig out the gravel. If you have time. I don't think you can do that that much in UHC. But when you get to a dead end, I should also show you something that I call the belly button hole. You'll get to the end of a tunnel and there will be a one block hole. Right? It's back in the middle. And that often is... Um, it's an indication that there's something beyond that one block hole. So dig as far through it as you can. Check it out. See, that was a honey pot right there. Anytime you see these cobblestone areas, I've put in honey pots. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm showing how 
this is how I used to do it. I used to make a donut and then put a uh, fence post in it. Sometimes I still do, but I've gotten kind of lazy. Now, in caves and stuff, of course, you can't really do that unless you take a bunch of fence posts with you. But um, for abandoned mine shafts, it works really well because you can see in and see what mobs are there easily, and you can decide what you're going to do tactically. See, the problem with having a solid wall is there's the spider I've been hearing, which is fine. I mean, great, I get to kill the spider. Um, and then I'm going to want to go in and I'm going to want to collect the uh, drops and XP and stuff like that. But I didn't see the creeper. See, if I'd had that little donut with the fence post in it, I would have known about the creeper. Oh well. So I left that in so you could see how not to do it too. So that's the purpose for the um, using the fence post. Is so that I can see what I'm up against before I get clobbered. I keep falling down this for some stupid reason. Makes absolutely no sense. I don't have feather falling or anything because I don't have an enchanting table yet. I'm very new on this game so uh, I was tempted to make an anvil and I said well that's kind of silly. I don't even have a diamond pick. So my neighbor is drunk and he's getting ready to drive a gigantic RV and it's midnight. Yeah. Okay, so here's my little bit of mine track that I managed to collect. Plus I made just enough powered rails to barely get back up the hill to my base. This is my underground base. Everything comes back here and then gets processed. So this is a really good way as you're mining around to make dark pockets where things can spawn around you but not be able to access you but it also makes great XP farms and I think that would be really useful for UHC so that you can go back to these little places after you've been mining for your gold or diamonds or whatever and you can go back to your little honey pots and knock them open and kick critters in the knees you know for XP yeah he's drunk and he's screeching the brakes and it's really scary now he's driving drunk so there you go Berg there's how you do mining in UHC so that you can have the mobs be someplace else besides where you are and have a convenient little XP farm besides thanks for watching like this video please and please share it with people like if you comment you're on Google Plus it'll share automatically and stuff because it really helps out the channel and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. See you later. Bye.